Hello and welcome to Lions Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I am completing the tarot for Virgo for the week of September the 14th through the 20th. So keep in mind you guys this is an intuitive reading and timing is fluid so you know take what resonates and leave the rest. I first want to say thank you so much for coming to my channel and bringing me your energy because if you're here, you're meant to hear whatever message that comes out. So firstly, I want you to look at the cards, take a deep breath, and ask the angels, what do you need to know for the week of September 14th through the 20th? What do you need to know? Angel, spirit, guides, ancestors, and God. What does Virgo need to know for the week of September the 14th through the 20th? What does Virgo need to know? Thank you, spirits. Ancestors, angel, spirit, guides. What and God, what does Virgo need to know? Virgos, the angels are saying the situation will improve. All right, Virgo. So whatever you're dealing with and whatever you were wanting to know, that situation will be improved. Let's get some tarot to clarify. All right, angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides. What does Virgo need to know? Give him some guidance about the situation improving. Well, that's a bonus, Queen of Swords. Thank you. So the bonus is the Queen of Swords. I'm going to shuffle. So your situation for the week, Seven of Cups, Water Energy, your foundations, Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. What's benefiting you for the week? Nine of Wands, more Fire Energy. All right, Virgo, what's going on with you? What's crowning you is Page of Pentacles earth energy which is you and the outcome king of pentacles more earth energy which is you all right virgo let's go ahead and get to reading the cards so situation will improve the angels are saying the situation will improve so let's go ahead and read it All right, your angels want you to know that they are aware that things look difficult right now. However, the situation is going to improve. It may take some time and there will most likely be some hard work ahead of you. But Virgo, the effort you put forth will be worth it and the things are going to get better. Now is not the time to give up on wounded friendships or ailing relationships. 
there is still hope for the future. Take heart and continue to work toward a partnership where both parties are fulfilled and happy in the future. All right, and let's go with your bonus card, the Queen of Swords, which is air energy. And the Queen of Swords, this Lady of Lances is the queen of cutting through emotional crap and getting straight to the point. She's serving up a platter of clear-headed judgment and decisive action without the pesky interference of things like sentimentality and compassion. So throw on a pantsuit, follow her logical lead, and get ready to say what you mean, Virgo. Will some people call you names when you straight up tell it like it is? Probably. But if those names are accurate, the Queen of Swords sees no problem with them. Carry on. I am bold, brave, badass with the courage to own everything I say and do, starting now anyway. Please don't Google me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with your situation, which is the Seven of Cups. It's water energy. And how I roll is I read the card, you guys, and I tell you what I feel after the card. So, Seven of Cups. It's a seven for one happy hour. What a deal. Or is it, Virgo? These cups are swollen with a hodgepodge of fantasies and illusions. They're tempting to taste, but leave you wondering what's real. They warn against temptation and warn that projection is not reality. In other words, just when you're sure there's a car behind that curtain, you end up going home with a can of beans. What's the fix? A healthy dose of reality, caution, and discernment. Make your choices based on what is actually happening, Virgo, rather than a mirage of wishful thinking. If you weigh all the options and still want the beans, then by all means, eat up. Affirmation. I wipe the wishes from my eyes and see my circumstances clearly. I might even wait to see how things play out, which in life's way of seeing, which is life's way of seeing clearly. For me. Foundation, Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. All right, Virgo, anyone hear that invasive crash? Ah, oh, yes. The Knight of Wands has just burst into your life like the Kool Aid Man and begun shouting into a megaphone. What announcement is so important it warrants shouting in a megaphone? An exciting change that's entering your life. So swiftly that you'll have no choice but to dive in head first. It might be wise to include a little book, a little look before that leap, Virgo, or at minimum, a courtesy glance. Impulsiveness is fun and adventurous, but not if it leads to unforeseen consequences. In other words, Virgo, enjoy the jump, but pack a parachute. Affirmation. I throw my arms around new exploits and ride them wherever they take me, while also wearing an appropriate regulation safety harness. <laughs> all right, that's your foundation, all right? So Nine of Wands is your benefiting you. All right, so the Nine of Wands says, we open on runners in slow-mo, the chariots of fire theme playing in the background. The finish line in sight. Then, someone face plants on a hurdle. Someone else tumbles. And the pile up of runners ensues. Sound familiar, Virgo? You may be close to reaching a major or minor goal right now, only to find you've been tripped up by one of life's most annoying tests of characters. Fear not, fiery chariot. You can still accomplish everything you wanted to. You just have to get over this final hurdle. Stay focused. Dust yourself off, Virgo, and do what you have to do to cross that finish line. Like climb over a bunch of bodies and a broken hurdle. Affirmation. I got this. I can do this. I will finish this. And then I can complain as much as I want. 
Now what's crowning you is the page of pentacles, which is you. So you got you to close you out. Earth energy. All right. So the page of pentacles. Time to get that to-do list going, Virgo. The page of pentacles is excited about a new venture that could lead to great success and lots of future money. He's a dreamer. Yes, but this isn't just tipsy boasting at the local dive bar. He's also a planner and doer. Follow his lead and turn your spark of inspiration into actual, achievable steps towards your goal. While you're baby stepping, be sure to channel some of that inspired energy from the fun parts, the dreaming, into the not so fun parts, learning Photoshop. It could be that this page is beginning a great new chapter. Pun intended, as indicated by aggressive italicizing. Affirmation. I magically turn my dreams into reality with the magically magical magic of to-do lists. All right, and the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles. Pull up a throne. Don a velvet cape. And join the King of Pentacles in his favorite pastime, eyeballing your accomplishments, Virgo. This master of the material realm represents the ultimate job well done. You have lots to be proud of, so don't be shy about showing yourself some love. And it appears you have lots to look forward to, especially in the realm of manifesting. Awesome shit. Keep setting your sights on what you want, and there's a good chance You'll get it. Not a bad skill to have on your resume. Also, crowns never hurt an image. Affirmation. Watch me as I make stuff happen. That's even more impressive than the stuff that's already happened. All right, Virgo. Okay, so listen. Right now, Virgo, with the Queen of Swords popping out and you got the situation will improve. Will improve. It's it's pretty much letting you know you got this. What you're going through right now, it will get better. It's up to you, though. You know, stay the course. Never give up on yourself and stay focused. You have to stay focused because you can easily lose focus. And then you hear you have the Seven of Cups, which where it's showing you your situation is what you're focusing on because it sounds like or it seems like you're just so caught up in the, what's not going right for you that you're ready to just take anything that looks good you want to slow down because it's coming right and you've got great ideas you've got things going for you all right here with the knight of wands it's something bursting something brand new about to come but make sure before you just leap and you you know you crossing and, and falling over hurdles plan it out Create your to-do list. Create your list. Plan your actions because once you sit down with the King of Pentacles and you let him know what you want, you manifest everything that you want, Virgo. So pretty much you are the one who has to stay focused. Never give up. The situation will improve even though it may look dim and it may look fake right now. You know, it may look like an illusion right now. Just know as, as long as you put in the work and you create the plan, you will have the success. But you got to put in the work, Virgo. Ain't nothing handed to you. So, I mean, it's in the cards. Thank you so much for your energy. Whew, thank you for coming to Lions and Tarot. I just, you know, want to leave with this. Make sure you go out here and be the best version of you that you want to see in this world, Virgo. Get inspired. 